Now we will talk about GCS, made easy and with mnemonics, okay? Regarding the mnemonics, we will have MVE, okay? MVE, M, V, E, motor, verbal, and I, six, five, four. So the minimum and the maximum score in motor will be six. Minimum is none. So none is one, none is one. Anyone is, no, is none will take minimum score of one. But the max, maximum will be six in motor, five in verbal, and four in odd. Three informations you have to know that the least one will be three. The maximum one will be 15. And once the patient at eight or less than eight, you have to intubate, eight intubate. Okay. How to give the patient six or five or four or whatever. So we will start with M. Start with obeying commands. When you order from the patient to raise your eyes or protrude your tongue like this and he protrude his tongue, he will take motor of score six. When he is not responding, but when you simulate him by a painful stimulus and localizes to pain, he will take five. When he withdraw this part of pain from you without localizing to pain, he will take four, okay? We have two postures, decorticate, abnormal flexion posture and decelebrate abnormal extension posture. In motor, those two, I will show you very nice video to understand the difference between two uh, positions. Here is the abnormal flexion decorticate posture. The patient will become like this. Okay. This is abnormal flexion decorticate posture. But later on, if this a decerebrate lesion, you will find decerebrate abnormal extension like like this. So this is decerebrate abnormal extension posture. So we have done regarding abnormal flexion, decorticate lesion, and abnormal extension, decerebrate lesion. Now, this abnormal flexion, decorticate posture will take three, like you see in the video, the patient is like this, with his hands abnormally flexed, except but the cerebrate extension boosters, this is the cerebrate, the patient will take two and none is one. This is regarding the motor one. Regarding MVE, V, so V is after six is maximum of five. If the patient is oriented to time, place and the person, then the patient will take, will take uh, five is the patient is oriented. But if the patient is uh, confused, telling you, I don't know where are we, I don't know, he is not oriented. So this is oriented five, but he is here, will take four if confused. If he telling you it is a hotel, like, home, house, I, like these words are four, three. The patient will score three. If he telling mm, mm, like this, the patient will score two. And also, if none, will take one.
Regarding the eye opening here, we will have spontaneous eye opening. The patient will take four, as we said, MVE for six, five, four for E, the patient will take four. To speech, the patient, talk to the patient, please open your eyes. Then the patient opens his eyes to your speech, then will three, will take three. If you simulated the patient via sopra, uh, sopra trochlear or trapezius painful stimulus and responded, he will take two. If none, the patient will take one. Okay. So now, some scenarios for you to interpret how the scenario will be in your exam. Scenario number one, a 20 year old man is hit over the head on arrival, the accident emergency department, he opened his eyes to pain. So as we said, we will put in front of eyes. Front of our eyes, MVE, six, five, four. For eye, spontaneous to speech, to pain, none is one. So this is to not to speech, it is to pain. So none is one. So he will take two regarding the E. And groans and or grunts, like mm, um, this is verbal of two abnormal, incomprehensible, incomprehensible sounds. He will take two. Okay? And he extends his arms at elbow. This posture, as you have seen in the video, this is motor of two. So, two, two, and two, the answer will be six. This is abnormal decerebrate lesion. Okay? Regarding the second scenario, A 20-year-old man falls over and bangs his head while intoxicated. On arrival in the emergency department, he opens eyes to speech. We will also make MVE 654 to speech, sorry, spontaneous to speech to pain and none is one. He opens his eyes to, it is spontaneous or not? No, it is to speech. So four, then three. He will take three. And is able to speak. He is able to speak. So this is maximum motor response. Obey commands, so he will take six regarding the motor. This obeys motor commands. Okay? And he is able to speak but he is disoriented, he confused. So verbal, if, if fully conscious or oriented, will take five, but he is confused, then he will take four. So we have now three, four, I, and six, four, motor, but verbal is four, okay? So, last scenario, and you will go like this. Okay? Again, you will start like doing this. In the E, six, five, four, and make your motor the commands. or the draw from pain, okay, sorry, obey commands localized to pain, obey commands localized to pain, with the draw from pain, abnormal flexion or decorticate lesion, then abnormal extension or decerebrate lesion, then none is one, this is M. For V, verbal, verbal means all oriented, see confused, then words, then sounds, then none is one. 
I, spontaneous the speech, to pin none is one. Okay, here we are, and you have to solve more scenarios to be oriented with GCS and be more rapid in solving. Thank you.